today we're going to be checking out and going to the American Girl Los Angeles pop-up shop. Ah! I don't really have a voice right now because I've been filming a lot of videos and girly gets excited. So anyways, I'm very excited. Oh my goodness, I've never been to a pop-up store before, so I'm very excited to see what it's like and yeah we're also going to be hosting a meet up there so we're going to be meeting some of you guys and then we're also going to be doing like a shopping vlog i'm going to be showing you around the store so i feel like without further ado since we have so much fun happening in this video let's get started let's go to the pop-up shop okay guys here we are this is the pop-up so on the left side we have some coffee displays She's looking very nice. I love how they hanged up some American Girl logo stars. Like, I really want some of those for my doll room. And then peeking in, you can kind of see different products and different things. And then they have an aisle hiring sticker. These are the doors. It opens at 10, so we're just a couple few minutes early. You can kind of see some stuff in there. And then to the right, we have some historical characters on display. We have Nikki and Isabel, which is the two new 90 twins. And then we have the limited edition Kit Kitridge birthday collection on display as well. So yeah, very, very neat. They have a poster inside. Well. So here's a quick overview of the store. Right as you walk in, they have this big display of the twins. So first stop is the right side of the store and then we'll go into the back and then to the left of the store. When you first walk in on the right, they have this big photo op that is just a poster that features different American Girl dolls. Along that same wall, we have the American Girl Hotel and Spa set up, as well as the Jenny Ice Cream set up with the Rainbow Ruffles Mix and Match collection. Then we have all of the Truly Me dolls in their lineup. This would be their kind of display case, I guess. None of the stuff along this wall was under glass, so everything that you can touch and feel, the only stuff that was underneath the glass was the stuff out in the middle, which we'll talk about. Next, we're onto the Street Chic Girls, looking stunning as always. And then right next to them, we had the World by Us, and then we have the travel collection that's under Truly Me, the real traveler stuff. And then we have some of the home stuff, the kitchen, the beds, tables, the couch, the TV set. And then we have the day at the cafe set. And then we have the back to school displays. Now we're gonna be taking a look at the Willy Wishers. They had mostly all of their collection here. They had the new things that just came out recently, the princess nightgown, as long as, long as the princess bed. Here's another look at their section. And then they had like the big new castle, which I know is kind of not new. And then along that wall that we were talking about, they had the whole Willy Wisher lineup, as well as the kitchen. And then that went into Biddy Baby. So this is the Biddy Baby stuff that we're talking about now. They had the Biddy Baby lineup, along as some accessories and some bundles that you can get. Out in the middle, they had the cooking stuff, the kitchen. Um, and then they had this arm wire that was kind of what they used for the Love Shack Fancy Collection, but they put some of the Bitty Babies inside, which I thought was super duper cute. Now we're in the back of the store where the historical characters are at. So out in the middle, they had some Courtney displays. Right next to that arm wire against that wall, we have some Samantha dolls, Melody's on display. We have Rebecca, we had Josefina, Addie, and Kaya, and as well as Mary Ellen. We had Kit. And then we have some Courtney and some of her collection. Then we have Nenea. Once again, none of this is under glass really, so you can all like touch it, take a look at it. And then we have Molly. And then we have Julie. They were sold out of Julie, so they actually didn't have any Julie dolls on display or for sale. And now we're on to Claudie. Out in the middle, what was underneath glass was Claudie's Bakery. This was like one of the few things that was underneath glass back here besides Julie's bathroom and I think maybe Courtney. And now we're onto the twins, which was right next to Claudie up against that wall. They did have some twin displays out in the middle. What wasn't underneath glass was their tennis slash skateboard court, which you're seeing now. And then this is another walkthrough of that 
kind of back area with the bitty babies and the historical characters. Coming back towards the front of the store, they had the candy bars that featured her historical characters and the kit's birthday collection. They also had some doll cases for you to purchase. And then we are looking at the American Girl Hotel and Spa, which was not under glass. Now we're talking about stuff that is under glass. So this is the spa set, uh, not the spa set, the salon hairstyling set that was under glass. Turning to your right from those displays, we have the checkouts and the checkout lines. In the checkout lines, they had different stuff. They had, you know, makeup products, they had nail polish, they have doll carrying cases. And then they also have these new little candies, which I haven't seen before, so I thought I would talk about that. Let me know if you guys seen those before. Going back into the middle, we had the basketball kind of back to school displays, and then we had the American Girl coffee shop display. Super cute. And then we had the rest of the world by us display. And then we're going back into this like nook, which is right next to the checkouts. And this kind of nook, what I'm calling nook, they had some hairstyling stuff. They had like the robes and some hairbrushes. They had some more truly me displays, such as the horse uh, stable, the American Girl camper, the pets, uh, I think, shop. And then officially to the left of the store, right as you walk in, is the Girl of the Year wall. They had Kavi, Corinne, and Kira. So all of their collections are displayed along this. Earlier on this side, you saw a doll hair salon chair. That's actually where they style people's doll's hair. So you can get your hair, your doll's hair done at the pop-up. So now we're gonna go back to the right side of the store and talk about the displays that kind of was underneath glass um, that they had out in like the middle part. So in this part, they had um, some of the new mix and batch collection. They had the new American Girl pool set, which was so cool, oh my goodness. And then they had like the new Aren't You Glad It's Summer outfits. Um, this stuff was not underneath glass, the pool and the new outfit. So you can actually like play with it and like look at it, touch it like I'm doing right here. <laughs> and yeah. The next stuff wasn't underneath glass. This was the pet stuff, all the pets, as long as uh, the pet shop and all the stuffed animals. This stuff was underneath glass the day at the cafe set. I really loved how they um, set this up. I thought that was super duper cute. And then we have the new um, Truly Me babies. So this was really cool to see. They had the stroller, um, the different babies, and then they had the crib. This stuff was underneath glass, so you could sadly not Feel this this was the only place where they had the new stuff in that category so here's the footage that me and Mia got from the meetup Mia basically filmed all of this so shout out to her because she was super duper amazing for doing this she's like the content queen and then my dad actually filmed this one that we're watching right now so they both came through and both was amazing for getting some meetup footage I had so much fun at the meetup. I want to thank everyone who came. It was a blast. I loved it so much. <laughs> we're, to party now. Okay. we're picking out Poppy. Yes. And should we tell them why we're naming it Poppy after the Papa? Yes. Yes. Okay, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna forget she's there. there. I know. Finally, like, get real music in America. When they released the twins, they were doing like a nine. That was the best. Yeah. So, like, I don't know if I like the head tilt. What? <laughs> you and me are like head tilt. I don't know. Yeah. Like, perfect though. Otherwise, it's good for photos. Yeah. Yes. Open her up and just move it and see if it works. The rest of her looks really good. Her eyelashes look great. So we have Sydney here, and then Monica. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is our girl. I think she's cute. Yeah. She looks really good. Oh, Oh my gosh. She's on. Yeah. So cute. I love it. They do look really kind of similar. Right? Like they could totally be sisters. Yes. <laughs> They're besties already. I don't yeah. Know. I feel like that's a You did? <laughs> Yay! What did you get? Yeah. Isn't she really cute? cute? Yeah, her oh, face. So cute. And like her hair is so pretty. We could put a bow in it and like.
like it could be like coffee with a bow. Okay, I'm gonna get the orange. Me too. Because I love the orange. Oh, I love that one so much. Yeah, brown. Put it in the bag. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of them. So cute. Yeah, crab or something. I think that's so cute. Like a nursery in the dollhouse, girl. Yeah. Hi, Editing Mal here. So what you're about to see is me and Mia. We're going upstairs to where the permanent store is supposed to be. And I'm showing you guys what that looks like. And then we go on a little scavenger hunt. Okay, at the meetup we learned some information where if you um, stand at a certain angle, you can see inside the construction store, what we're calling it. And so this is me and Mia trying to find, figure out how to see inside because we are diehard American Girl fans. The whole reason why we went to LA was because American Girl made the announcement stating that the grand opening for the permanent store was going to be the weekend that we went. Well, I don't know what really happened, but it got moved back to sometime in the summer. And so, yeah, we were very sad that we did not get to experience a grand opening on this trip, but it's okay because we still had a tons of fun and I really enjoyed it and Mia really enjoyed it as well. So, but yeah, we were kind of just scouting the scenes, I guess. You know, we were doing anything what a diehard fan would do. You know, you know. <laughs> So here's the construction site for the American Girl permanent flagship store here. It says American Girl, new store opening in 2023, full service dining, girl and doll, salon, parties, personal shopping, pop-up shop now open on the lower level. And right underneath this guys is actually the pop-up shop. So we'll go there next. But yeah, it's like a big, storefront. I mean, it wraps around to this side and you can kind of see there's nothing really up there, but I'm assuming maybe that's them going to be up there too. But yeah, very interesting. So guys, we were just at our meetup yes. and somebody said that you could see the stairs from an angle. So now we're upstairs trying to figure out how to see the stairs of the store. So we're going into this store that has an upstairs and we're going to try to look out the window see if we can see anything. Yeah. Guys, this was, we couldn't even see anything. We can't even see anything. I just don't understand how you can see the stairs. Alrighty everyone, we just got back from visiting the American Girl Los Angeles pop-up shop. I am very excited to show you guys what I got. However, that's going to be in a separate video because I don't want to make this video too long or anything. So make sure that you're subscribed and following so then you don't miss out on when I post that video. Oh my goodness, the American Girl pop-up shop was literally so much fun. I had the best time ever that you could possibly have at a pop-up shop, okay? It was so much fun. It was, I'm going to be honest, I think I had much more fun than what I expected it to be. And yeah, it was just, it was a blast. I can't even describe how much fun it was. I loved getting to meet everyone that came. It was so much fun. I keep saying it was so much fun. I'm so sorry. I'm like repeating myself, but it was. It was a boss. I had so much fun. There I go again. <laughs> if you are on the fence about visiting a American Girl pop-up shop, I definitely recommend that you do so. And plus, it's something fun to get to do while we're all waiting for the new LA flagship store to open. I'm very excited to see that. Oh my goodness, I really hope I can go back to LA to see it. I really want to go for grand opening weekend, but I they haven't really announced a date yet. So, and it was supposed to be the grand opening when we went, but then I don't know what happened, but then they pushed it back, American Girl did. But anyways, it's fine. It's okay. I'm really hoping that I get to go to grand opening weekend whenever it is. So thanks for watching this video, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Instagram. It's the same name, Dollies and Rainbows, because, you know, I'm going to be posting my American Girl Los Angeles pop-up shop haul. I'm going to be posting some other content that I filmed. Um, going to L.A., I already posted the, going to the Mattel headquarters, but then there's two other videos that I did out there that I'm very excited to post. So make sure that you're subscribed and following so that you don't miss out on those. Check me out on TikTok as well. Same name, Dollies and Rainbows. 
Be sure to listen to my doll theme podcast if you haven't done so already. It's called the Doll Mom Podcast. It's out wherever you can listen to music and other podcasts. Like, <laughs> Anyways, it's really fun. I would really appreciate it if you could, went and listened to it. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you've ever been to a American Girl pop-up. If so, where did you go? Did you go to the Los Angeles one? Did you visit one of the ones that they did over the holiday season a couple few years ago? I really wish they would bring those back because I think those are just super duper fun and super duper neat and cool and I love them. <laughs> Get the conversation started in the comment section if you're able to, of course. And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to tell you. I'll see you next time. Bye!